Hi there. Today I'm going to demonstrate some design and scenario analysis of single tilt versus dual tilt ballasted commercial systems in Aurora. I'm going to use a commercial flat roof in San Antonio, Texas. I've completed the 3D model ahead of time and I'm going to move straight into design. My azimuth arrow from 2D was set to face due south, which is the direction the modules will pitch by default. I'm going to run the autofill function, and here I can choose my modules and an inverter if I want to have Aurora auto string. I'll select some Canadian 315 watt modules and an SMA tri-power 15K. In the advanced options, I can edit some design parameters like DC to AC ratio, overcurrent ratio, and even add combiners, recombiners, and load centers. Lastly, I can set my module orientation, tilt, and row spacing, which is typically defined by my racking type and I can set a minimum solar access percentage if I'd like. Aurora will automatically fill the roof with as many modules as possible, adhering to the autofill parameters previously defined. Notice the red lines indicate stringing, the green lines indicate connections, and my components, in this case inverters, are placed within the layout. I can make custom edits and changes to all of these components, stringing, and connections as needed. Let's make a note of the DC system size at 126.9 kilowatts, just over 400 modules. I'll quickly go into 3D visualization to verify that my layout matches my expectations. I can clearly see that this design has modules pitched at 15 degrees to the south with a one and a half foot row spacing. I can also see an electrical tree of my design by using the components tab. Lastly, if I go into simulations, I can generate the expected performance of my system using the Aurora performance simulation. We can see that the system is expected to generate just over 180 megawatt hours in its first year, but let's take note of the kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak value here of 1,432. This is a key comparison metric. Clicking on the project link at the top of the page, I can go back into designs and create a new design for my dual tilt comparison. In the design layout mode, to complete a dual tilt or east-west system design, I need to click on the button that says toggle grid azimuths. This brings up some pink arrows which indicate the orientation of my module tilt. I can set this to face either east or west. This arrow will automatically snap to building edges, but you can override that by holding down the control key to face modules in a direction non-orthogonal to your building edges. Remember that this functionality also works for residential systems when doing compound or reverse tilts. After setting the new module orientation, I can run the autofill function again. It remembers my previous selections, but let's make a few modifications. In the advanced options, I'm going to change the fill mode to sawtooth, which is for dual tilt systems. I can adjust my tilt 
and my row spacing as well to match my configuration. In dual tilt systems, the row spacing can be minimal. Let's use 0.2 feet. The autofill function will once again fill up the roof based on the parameters which I've just defined, but this time we're going to see a completely different configuration than before. Obviously we can now fit more modules on the roof as noted by the larger DC system size at 180.2 kilowatts. Also, notice that the string lines skip a column when stringing because half of the modules face east and the other half face west and you can't put those on the same string. I'll go into 3D visualization to verify that my layout matches my expectations. You can nicely see the dual tilt system shown here in 3D, as expected. Once again, I can see an electrical tree of my design by using the components tab. In simulations, I can generate the expected performance of my dual tilt system using the Aurora Performance Simulation Engine. We can see that this system is expected to generate a significantly larger amount of energy in year one, 229 megawatt hours, but a more interesting comparison is the lower 1,272 kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak value. This makes sense. Dual tilt systems can fit more power on the roof, but with a lower production efficiency. You can now use these values to compare financials of these commercial system designs to decide which system is better for your client. The last important analysis point here is inverter clipping. If I go back into my layout, type Control A to select all, then delete, I'm going to rerun my autofill function. Let's keep the same parameters and increase my DC to AC ratio to something bigger, like 1.5. We're going to generate a similar layout, but a different design in terms of stringing and inverters based on this new ratio. Going straight into simulations, I can now generate a final performance estimate, and we can see if there is any inverter clipping. Notice the warning symbol that now appears after running this performance estimate. I can see that I have lost 0.4% due to inverter clipping. With this information, a user can make an informed decision to use smaller inverters and save money on the installation without sacrificing performance. Further comparisons could include systems at various latitudes, with varying configurations, which can easily be done with just a few clicks in Aurora. This concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to email support at aurorasolar.com with any questions. Have a great day.